you're still getting back to those hobbies of yours that you used to actually do when you were a child and you're in the zone essentially you're really enjoying how things are right now whatever it is that you loved when you were a teenager a child you're getting back into like i was talking about excuse me and ultimately that's how it is that people manifest people are trying to figure out well, what's the secret the secret is life is going to go is going to go to good times bad times that's just the rhythm of the universe in order for you to main, in order for you to manifest you want to stay in the good times as much as you possibly can so how is it that you do that when times go bad you decide to actually do something that takes your mind off of the bad things that's how it is that you end up manifesting among among other techniques the thing is that the nine of wands is about how um and again even though you're dating you're not going to let anybody mess up your vibe right you're not going to let anybody get you upset get you on your nerves get you to say or to do anything that'll you know make you look bad because that's a part of it too. A lot of times people will try to trigger you, say and do things to try to get you upset, trigger you, get you on your nerves. And the four of the four of swords and the magician represents your look, you're seeing that type of situation, and you, Aquarius, are gonna turn it into something that benefits you, right? I'm not necessarily gonna go about the whole positive and negative things, because those things are essentially relative to one another. But you're going to turn some you're going to turn the the disrespect and the conflict that people give to you right the fact that people don't want to be in a relationship with you they're not really being serious and you're going to turn it into something that works for you one of the things that a lot of you aquarius have not taken into consideration is the fact that maybe people are not interested in you because you're probably too smart that's another huge turn off when it comes to dating <laughs> especially in today's world right especially in in today's world whenever it is that you are exhibiting a certain amount of intelligence people find it attractive but the problem is that they find it attractive at first and then sooner or later somewhere along those lines they start to feel threatened by it and they start to get envious and they start to get jealous and then even envious of it right they want to covet it for themselves they want to have it for themselves and then they start looking at the person who's super intelligent in this case you Aquarius like y'all are the enemy you know so the thing is that the nine of pentacles now is about how since that's the case you Aquarius um have to understand to give yourself time to relax remember who you are remember the, the rep, remember the disposition that you're in you were born with many gifts you have a higher intelligence more than the average Joe, among other things. You have the ability to let go. The ability to let go in on itself is something that most people on the planet have to learn to do. But the mere fact that you Aquarius have that as an as a as an art skill, that's something that is your rites of passage, is an advantage to you as to where other people are very attached, very much so. To the, pause, to the point where it's creating their own prison in relationships, you Aquarius can actually walk away from dysfunctional people that don't plan on actually doing right by you anytime soon. So the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles is about since that's the case, you Aquarius also have to take into consideration that the next thing for you to do, the next thing for you Aquarius to do is to also understand that what you've got going on is for you to understand that you need to be ready for anything. You are ready for anything. Stay ready forever. That way you ain't got to get ready. And what I mean by that is always date from the perspective of it can work out, but also have it in the back of your mind that if it doesn't work out, you're just going to move on and you're going to heal and you're going to move on and you're going to get to know somebody else. That's all it is that you need to do. You don't really need to be in a situation where, you know, and you Aquarius usually don't do this. You used to do it when you were younger, but you, you don't do it anymore. Holding on, right? A lot of you Aquarius learned at a very young age coming up that, <laughs> you know, through heartbreaking experiences, that if you don't learn how to let go of love 
whether it comes, whether it manifests itself in a form of family, friends, or romantic interactions, you will drive yourself crazy. And other people will try to drive you crazy as well. So it behooves you, Aquarius, to really learn. Again, date, but and date honestly. Legitimately give this person a try. You, the point is for you, Aquarius, to actually be successful at dating, right? You're not trying to come in to a to an interaction with somebody with fear on look fear, uncertainty, and doubt with FUD. What you want to do is you want to get to know people, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you're mentally prepared that if things don't necessarily work out, just go talk to somebody else. Just go talk to somebody else. You know, or stay by yourself for a little bit. You know, like it doesn't have to be this dramatic thing. So just keep that in mind. The Eight of Wands and the Justice now is about how since that's the case. And that way, no one can really have a chance of really hurting you. Because you're not being vindictive, trying to get revenge on somebody else for something that someone else did, right? And they didn't have anything to do with it. Um, not that Aquarius is one for that. Now, again, I have Aquarius in my chart. Aquarius can be for revenge. Right. But that's not really a normal thing like that, like looking for revenge from most of the Aquarius that I know, my father, some of the people that I've met through YouTube. You know what I mean? Here, you know, whether it's on my channel or on another person's channel, Aquarius really don't try to get revenge like that. You know what I'm saying? That's not really a normal thing, you know, um, so the justice represents because you understand that a, a lot of you Aquarius understand that ultimately if somebody or you should understand this, that ultimately if somebody tries to screw you over, they're only screwing over themselves. So they're not really doing anything to you long term. In essence, they're getting themselves out of your way. They end up hurt, they are actually hurting themselves long term. But this is this is the price that, that they pay. For their lack of foresight, for their lack of, and then what, right? A lot of times, like I said, people are stupid because the people who act like that in particular, I'm talking about, are stupid because they don't ever ask themselves, and then what, <laughs> you know? You know, it's like, okay, to betray you, you Aquarius's um, loyalty, they betray your trust, and then what, <laughs> So let's clarify the justice. Now, remember, the justice represents Libra and 7 and 11 are interchangeable. Four of Cups, Hierophant, Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands. Right, because this is, because the, <laughs> if anybody, put it like this, Aquarius, if, if you have yourself in a situation right now, where anybody is giving you a hard time as you're trying to date them, they're going to have to come back and apologize soon afterwards. <laughs> the Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands. And by that time, when they do decide to come back, that turnaround, you Aquarius may not even really even want them again. Even though it is a quick, it will be a quick turnaround, right? It's not like it's going to be this crazy span of time. But in the week, two weeks or whatever, a couple of days when they decide to come back, you Aquarius might be like, nah, I'm good. I don't want it. 